before the allegations, me and Genovas were very cool. We talked every day, hung around every day, and now I don't talk to her because of all of this. But I'm here today to clear my name. Me and Genova both were housekeepers back in July at a hotel. When Genova was cleaning her room, she found some money in the room and she came and got me and uh, showed me the money. And then we both left the room. And when we left the room, both of us was outside of the door joking, playing at the door, and I had the key, and I was playing with my key on the door. But I never went back inside the room. After we got through joking at the door, I went my way and she went her way. But the lock system in the hotel showed that I went back, that it showed me playing at the door with my key. Then it comes up that the money goes missing, and I didn't do it. So the next day, I get a phone call from the, bo the boss at the hotel, and they was telling us that we had a meeting the next morning. Both Genova and I were in that meeting. So when we left that meeting, Genova started blaming me. I feel really bad because me and Genova grew up together, and she was supposed to believe me. I wouldn't do anything like that. I have two kids that I have to take care of, and I would not risk my job. After the meeting, but we both were fired. The next week, I found another job. It's not my fault that she couldn't find another job. When she found the money, she shouldn't have came to me. She should have went to the boss. I took a lie to take the test, and it will prove today that I did not take the money, and hopefully this can be in the past. I never had anyone to say that I stole anything ever in my life, from jobs to friends. Everyone knows that I do not steal and will not steal from a friend. And that would not be the reason a friend gets fired from her job. I feel like she should believe me. I feel like she should have trusted me. And after this, I don't think it'll be the same. You're good friends with Rachel. Uh, you were before this incident happened? Yes, sir. We're best friends. Like, we really grew up together. Like, we're basically cousins. Like, we call each other cousins. Sure. So you, I, I'm assuming you needed this job because you're raising a, yes, a small child? Yes, I did. Yes. I had four kids, four like, kids. that I got to provide for. Sure. And this job was everything. Like, I was trying to get on my feet. I was trying to save for a car. Like, I had a baby turn one that month on the 18th. And I was not able to do anything for her. And now my son's birthday is coming up on the 16th. And I'm not able to do anything for him. Like, he say, Mom, like, what you going to do for my birthday? Like, I don't know what to tell him. Right. Like, I don't have a job. I'm still without a job. How did it come about uh, that you and uh, Rachelle were accused of stealing this money on your job? Me and Rachelle worked together which it was early that morning. It was my first room that I had to clean. I seen the money. I seen the amount wrote on the envelope. So I went to Rachelle. I'm like, girl, them folks left all that money in the room. And it said $1,200 on it? Which had $1,200, which I'm trusting Rachelle. That's why I came to you, because we very close. And I'm like, I'm finna go tell the manager. So I go and get the manager. I tell her, we get off that Wednesday. Rachelle stayed around me all day. And it was like suspicious. Thursday, I get a phone call from a man, which is over the temp service. And he's like, Genova, a large amount of money missing. So I'm tripping out now. Like, I'm really feeling like I'm about to go to jail for this. And I know it's something that I didn't do. I'm not finna take action. You didn't take the money? No, I didn't take the money. So now I'm crying on the phone with the man. Like, sir, I'm not finna take the blame for something that I didn't do. And he was like, well, Genova, we really don't think that you did it. Like. Rachel, a key was used at your door two times. They could see from the key, and it's an electronic key, that she had access to the room? Uh-huh. So they was telling me that her key read on my door two times. So I'm like, wow. So I'm getting blew up on my other end from Rachel. So she's like, what, what they saying? Which they talked to you first. She's like, what is he saying? What is he saying? I'm like, this is real serious. Like, this man saying that your key hit my, your, my door two times. Like, I don't know what to think, but that you did it. Like, my mind is everywhere now. So I finally talked to Rachelle. She was like, don't you remember when I was um, playing at your door? And I'm like, yeah, you was playing at my door, but I do not remember you using your key at all. What do you mean playing by her door? Playing how? She was like, I go in. She was like, I'm finna go in there and get that money. But she she real playful. Like, she played like this. She like, I'm finna go in there and get the money. So I'm like, girl, you better not go in there. Like, them folks gonna have the police up here on us. 
Right. So I went to go get the manager when Rachel was playing with the door. You were still left on my floor. We worked on the same floor that day. Do you think she took the money? Like, she was doing a lot of suspicious stuff, so yes, I really do <laughs> feel like she got the money. So they call you and they fire both of you. Well, the manager had already let me know. She was like, yeah, I probably ain't gonna have y'all a job unless you make her confess. So we went up there that Friday morning on our payday, and the man was talking to us. He came in and met me. He was like, hey, how you doing? Or whatever, and he tried to shake Rachel's hand and meet her, but she was real aggressive with him. Like, that looked suspicious to me, too. Like, this man coming to get to the bottom of it, like, why would you, why would you be mean to him? Right. And she, that, that Wednesday, she asked me, she when I was saying that I didn't remember what she was saying, she was like, so what, you want to fight? To I was you? like, yeah. She was like, what, you want to fight? I was like, why are we going to fight over somebody else's money? Like, this what you want to do? Like, come on. And I hung up the phone. <laughs> So I so never you said, heard. If you want to fight, come on. Yeah, like we finna fight about somebody else's money. Like, come on. The man came in middle. She was real aggressive with him. I was being real friendly because I know I'm innocent, and she was being aggressive. She real nervous. Like, you bang your lip. Like you sitting down. Like you can't <laughs> be still. So when we get to the temp service, Rachelle come out. She like, no, no. I, I mean, like Genova, I, I won't do this to you. Like, oh my mama, I wouldn't do this to you. I never do you like that. What do you hope happens today? I really hope Rachelle pays, like, because we had a tight friendship. Like, we was close. Like, we could. So you want her to pass? Yeah, I want her to pay. So you and want her to pay? And I feel bad for blaming her. I mean, all the time, you know I do not steal. As far as nervous go, yes, when I be nervous, I bite the side of my lip. But when I was talking, I was fussing with someone at the job. But that day, everything just was adding up. Like, that day, you stayed around me. Like, I really hope that you do pass the test. Okay. Like, and I, I am. And you I, know, I'm just yeah. going to go my own separate Yeah, you can. Because if when... If you pass. Yeah. I mean, uh, she speaks... She had tears in her eyes when she was talking about you. Yeah, I hope you pass. I feel I bad am. for blinding you. I apologize. If you accept my apology, you accept it. If but you, you got to admit, it's a little suspicious that she shows you the money, and then, you know, they have electronic. They can read where this your card was to access certain doors. And they dinged you a couple times trying to get into that yeah, room. Yeah, that's what I get for playing so much. But, you know, like I said, she been knowing me all my life. All I do is play. I just wish I would have never played at the door. But today, You didn't gonna steal the out. money? No, sir. You ever steal anything? No, sir. Never in your life? No, sir. Not a candy bar? No, sir. <laughs> and we asked you, did you participate with anyone to take any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no, you told the truth. <laughs> Do you know for sure who took any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no, you told the truth. <laughs> Did you take any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no, and you told the truth. Uh, Rachelle came here and she took a lie detector test and we asked her, did you participate with anyone else to take any of the missing money from that hotel room? She answered no. She told the truth. <laughs> Do you know for sure who took any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Really? Did you take any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. I didn't take that money. Oh. I did not really? take that money. Like Ray Shea. I didn't you take no money. You took all I these words. To God, I like, no I money. really, really trusted Man, you. Man, I did not take like, no money. Like, we were too close, Ray Shea. No, I didn't. I like, you Ray Shea, no you money. knew what I was going through. I didn't you take no money. You know I'm struggling. I got four children. Okay, like, I, I didn't take the money. Children. Like, you took from my children, man. I didn't take the money. Like, you took from my children. You ain't give a damn about my okay. children. You ain't care about take me. Test over. You ain't care about my children. You ain't care about... She probably don't regret it. She probably don't have feelings. No. Well, I don't think she's a monster. I mean, uh, but I do. I understand that you're embarrassed, and you, no matter what, you'll keep saying, "I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it." You did it. Some people. But don't whether you want to be bigger than you know your mistake and say to your friend, "You know what? I owe you this month to tell you the truth. Here's your last chance. And then I got to kick you off."
Okay, I'll just get off to you because I didn't take any money. Goodbye. See, she can't even apologize. I, I you ain't care if I went to jail for you. Like these folks could have took me to jail money. though. Like I wouldn't be okay. wearing my keys. Like my children all she don't, I got. She don't care. My keys is all I got. Like I could have went to jail for these. You could have. They could have just said, "Oh, Janova, this your room." And she was gonna Come let. Come on, you going was, to jail? They and she was gonna let you go to jail. Yes. Okay. Like you didn't care. Um, Unfortunately, I can't do anything about you getting your job back. Um, I mean, I, maybe I would go back and talk to them and, you know, show them the show and say, look, I passed. I mean, whatever. I hope you get a job. But what I can't help is your son's birthday is in a few days. Yes, yeah, on the We're going to give you some money so you can buy him a birthday present. <laughs> and at least you can do that for your son, okay? Bye, uh, right. Good luck to you. And you let us know how things Thank work you. out, okay? I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.